hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to configure engines in odoo so in the previous video we have successfully installed odoo 15 in digital ocean droplet using the installation script so here you can see this is the installed odoo instance which is the ip is 159 223 212 and 140 and it's running on port 8069 so all the steps i think you have been clear you understood the steps and now what we will be doing is that we will be showing you how we can install the engines for this server so along with other installation script we have the options of installing the engines along with that installation script so actually we haven't opted that because in order to illustrate how you can manually install so there will be a layout of case where you have to install or set up the engines where the odo is already running so it will be easy for you want to understand the steps one by one so first of all what you have to do is that you have to open your server so here i have opened my remote server you can see root at ubuntu so this is my remote server and what i have to do is that i have to install a package first of all you have to install engines in your machine so i'll copy this command and i will run this command to install engines in the server so on clicking ok you can see the engines package is getting installed on my remote server so just wait until it get finished so you can see the engines has been installed now what i have to do i have to create some file so for that what you have to do is that navigate to etc cd slash change directory slash etc slash engines ls then you can see this is the folder of engines which created upon installing the engines package then here you can see you have two folders sites available and sites enabled so i'll change directory to sites available cd sites available ls to list the available files so here you can see we have a file called default so either you can keep this file as it is or you can delete it no problem if you keep it no issues so what i'll do is that i'll remove that file r minus rf default i just deleted that file using rm command then what i'll do i'll create a new file called sudo nano and just give i'm opening a new file in nano editor to create a file you can give any name test odoo or any name you can give so here i'll give the name as sudo nano odoo.conf so i'm going to create a new file with name odoo.conf and you can see an empty file has been opened in the text editor so here what i'll do i'll copy the template that i have already saved in the google doc so simply i'll copy this command sorry this template that i have saved here so yes i have to copy this template copy and i'll paste it here inside the terminal so i have just added the code sample here the template engines template upstream odoo and it has to go to 8069 odoo chat that is for long polling 8072 server listening on port 80 server name so this you have to take care in server name you have to put your domain name or your ip address currently we don't have any domain name like what you can say odoo.com or odoomates.tech so what i'll do is that i'll copy our ip address so if i go here we have our ip address this is our ip address i'll copy that and i'll specify it as my server name i'll remove http and just i'll give the ip address server name is set as my ip address proxy read and there is nothing to change everything will remain same so click on control x click on y click on enter so we have successfully created a new file and added data to that file so this is done so don't worry if you need this template you can just drop an email to odoomates at gmail.com or i'll try to add this content in the video description section so that you can get it from there so we have successfully added a new file called odoo.conf hunter sites available now what we have to do is that we have to create a symbolic link so this is the sample link this is the command so what i'm doing is that things it's already executed 
so yeah this command odoo.conf so i'm just copying the file odoo.conf under sites available to sites enabled so i'll move it to sites enabled so my file name should be odoo.conf click on enter and click on ls and if you navigate back ls you have sites enabled folder cd sites enabled sites enabled ls you can see here odoconf odomates.conf which is actually created wrongly so let me remove that odomates.conf deleted i'll remove default conf also or minus rf default so here we have under sites enabled we have odoo.conf which is a copy from sites available which we have added so we have successfully added the nginx file now what we have to do we have to run this command to check and see everything is okay or not sudo so nginx minus t then you can see the configuration file syntax is okay configuration file odoo test is successful so it says everything is fine now let's restart the engines and see what happens. So I'll restart engines, sudo service engines. Yeah, let me engines stop and I'll start. Let me start that. So engines is restarted. Now if I go here. You can see odo will be running on 8069 but if everything is okay it has to be available on port 80 also so you can see odo is running without port number you can see right now odo is accessible one more thing that you have to take care is in the configuration file of odo cd slash etc uh, one more thing let me stop the odo service i'll show you one thing let me restart my Odoo service. sudo service Odoo server stop. Let me stop my Odoo service. Not accessible. And if I start, let me start it. Odoo service is restarted. Now, if you try to access, you can see. Odoo is accessible and one more thing that you have to do is that cd slash et yeah we are in etc folder sudo nano et sudo nano you have to open your odoo configuration file and you have to add proxy mode as true if this is added you will not be able to access odoo you have to add once you configure engines you have to add proxy mode equal to true in odoo configuration file so this is my odoo configuration file i have added proxy mode equal to true Control x y click on enter so that has been saved and if you stop uh, which one i will stop my odoo service odoo server stopped and you can see you are getting 502 bad gateway as engines is installed you will be getting this one that is it says odoo service is not running so if i restart that is i'll start my odoo and you can see without port number you can see at port 80 which is the default port of ubuntu odoo is accessible and what, what i can say let me stop and start the engines also Stop. and let me start to confirm everything is okay so you can see odo is running on port 80 that is the default port of ubuntu and you will see a connection lost error that is connection lost connection restored so we'll be making a video about how to solve that in the next video so that's due to some configuration issue like what you can say that optimization has to be done so due to that it is coming so fine so i hope you understood how to configure engines in odoo just install the engines package for that you can use this command then you have to go to cd slash etc engines sites available folder create a new 
file with its content and in the server name you have to specify your domain name or your ip address then create a symbolic link in sites enabled folder restart engines run sudo engines minus t command to check and see everything is okay and in case if you configured everything and if it is not working you can see the engines log so in this file here you can see access log and error log so if i copy this path pd we have var log engines and if you click on ls you have these logs odoo access log and odoo error log so if i open that file sudo tail minus f odoo dot access let me open that odoo dot access log and let me put some space and if i refresh here you can see your engines file is getting updated so here you will have access log whenever you a new request is coming to server it will be getting updated here you can see the request is coming from mozilla which is some another thing you can see from chrome you are getting a request so this is the access log similarly you will have the error log udo dot error log there is some error you can see it under this file will connection while requesting upstream So I hope you understood how to configure NGINX with Odoo. So if you have any doubts, feedbacks or suggestions, please share with us and directly under the comment or connect us in odoomates at gmail.com and feel free to support us by sharing the video with your Odoo friends. Join the channel. We have paid memberships. You can feel free to join the channel and it will be great helpful for it to generate the revenue. So that's it for the day. Have a nice day. Thank you.